Hi, I want to show you how to uh, get into your CRW 139 Intro to Creative Writing class um, this semester. So when you get to your homepage, which is yc.edu, and you've logged in, and it'll say hello uh, with whatever your name is, you'll see over here a little icon, um, looks like a paintbrush, and this is for Canvas, and Canvas is our new learning management system. This has replaced Blackboard. Um, for those of you who've been around the college for a while, we've been using Blackboard for over 10 years, and we have upgraded over the summer to Canvas. So you'll click here on this icon, and it will take you to all of your Canvas courses. So you are in CRW 139, Intro to Creative Writing, and when you log in, you're going to be sent to the home page. You won't see this part right here. This is only here because the course is not yet live, um, but you'll see a hi and a welcome, um, you know, right here. I'm going to post this video here as well, so you can go back and look at it if you need to. Um, over here on the left-hand side is everything you need to know um, about how to work in the course. I've tried to keep it super simple, especially since this is a new learning management system for the entire school. Um, so I wanted to, to try to make this as streamlined as possible. Um, should you ever need help, click over here on the Help button or go to Canvas Support, which is going to take you to, to YC Canvas Support. Here, uh, this Help button will give you an option to go to the Canvas site where they have fantastic documentation, they have videos and all kinds of things about how to work with Canvas from the student view. Um, I have posted that link in the welcome letter as well as um, in your course. So let's get going. So the first thing here is your syllabus and this is something that's super different from Blackboard. The course syllabus here in Canvas is a dynamic document and that means that it's changing. Um, you have a live feed of everything that's going on um, uh, throughout the semester. So if you ever get lost, or you're ever not sure what's coming up, you can always go back to Canva, uh, to syllabus, the syllabus button. You can also click on calendar. Every course that you have here at the college that is using any sort of graded assignment will be uh, dumped into your master calendar. And you can select whether you want to view your calendar by course or as a composite calendar. And this is a super neat new feature. I can't show it to you like this because um, I'm just enrolled as a test student, but this is where you would click to get there, the calendar button, and you'll see all of your instructors who have put in any assignments, they're going to show up there as well. And that's another way to just kind of keep track of things. So here, this is a PDF of the syllabus. It contains the class policies, due dates, information on withdrawal, um, how much each assignment is worth, um, expectations for behavior, that sort of thing. Um, anything a syllabus is supposed to have, it's right there. The textbook assignments are there. Um, everything. If you need it, it's always going to be right here. Here are some videos that I made on online policies and tone and behavior expectations in an academic environment. I hope you will take them with the sense of humor that they were intended. Um, and then here, as I'm scrolling down, you'll see what I mean by the dynamic nature of the course. So it organizes everything based on due date. So in our course, all due dates are Friday midnight, and you have to set that at 11.59 p.m. for Canvas. So um, for purposes of our course, weeks end Friday midnight. So you're always going to have access to a couple weeks ahead if you have to work ahead, but just so you're clear, um, Friday midnight is the end of our academic week. So you'll see here in week one, We've got some things to do. We've got a discussion board, we've got a syllabus quiz, and we've got a pre-assessment survey. Next week, which is week two, so our due date is 11.59 p.m., Friday, September 4th, you've got an exercise and a text response board. So the semester unfolds in essentially the same way every week. Um, I wanted to make it as easy um, for you as I could, and, and hopefully once you get the hang of it, it's going to be just old hat. But again, this is your syllabus, and if you get lost, always return here. See how these are links? So you can also click here to go directly to that discussion board. Um, you can click here to go directly to that assignment link um, if you find yourself getting, getting too confused. Um, I'm going to skip modules for just a second. Um, grades. So this would say uh, your name would be right here. Um, and this is everything in our course that has a grade, that is any kind of point value. It has exactly what the point value is. Um, these are um, 
complete incomplete options. That's why they have zero points. Um, so one point, half a point, half a point, 15 points, one point, you know, etc. Um, every single thing here will have a score here. Okay, so you can see what your score is out of how many points you have possible at any time. Okay, so this is updated live. So when I post the grade, it shows up here. Okay, um, you'll be able to click to open here to see feedback from me, um, all kinds of nifty things. And again, if you are needing help working with Gradebook for Students, go here to the Help button or click on the link I sent you in the welcome letter for student guides for Canvas. Um, it's, it's different from Blackboard, but I think you'll find it to be a lot easier once you sort of get the hang of what's going on. And then people, these are just the folks who are in the course with you. Um, so I want to spend most of our time here on modules. And modules are how Canvas organizes units. So you can see right now uh, modules up to week five. So I have, um, you can see how these are grayed out, you guys won't be able to see um, till, till I open it up for you. I didn't want to give you too much all at once. So week one, week two, week three, week four, and let's just stop there because it's all going to look essentially the same. So notice that they all have an instructions page right here at the top. Okay? So that's super important. You don't want to skip the instructions page. This is where I give you the handouts that you need, the directions that you need for completing the assignments. This is where I will um, give you a heads up about upcoming things. This is where I'll post videos. I will post audio. Um, I will um, send you little happy notes. Um, this is a super important page. Don't skip the instructions page. Um, let's say that together one more time. Don't skip the instructions page. Yay! So you'll see here, like I said before, our weeks end Fridays. And so I have taken the time to tell you exactly when that is for each week. Friday, August 28th is the end of week one. Friday, September 4th, the end of week two, etc., etc. Um, our course does have a no late work policy, so you want to make sure that you're planning your time. One of the most difficult things about an online class is time management. So get yourself a calendar. Use the calendar in Canvas. Um, get organized right from the beginning and stay on top of things by logging in and by participating um, and asking questions if you're feeling stuck. Okay, so because Canvas is new for all of us, the entire school, there are bound to be things that um, that I and other instructors have set up that just don't work like what we thought and um, we will do our best to get all things working as soon as possible so don't hesitate to let us know if something doesn't seem to be doing what it says it's supposed to be doing. You can collapse these modules by just clicking here on the arrow see how it goes away? Poof! Open! Poof! Closed! This here, this module will be available to you the entire semester I'm going to open it now. Click. This is your primary, one of your primary papers, and it is worth 25 points. And it's a book analysis um, on a novel that you'll be selecting from this document here, the book list. Um, and I have explained this to you in a couple weeks on the, say it with me, the instructions page. Yay! Um, but here's where all the handouts are. These are PDFs. This is a video. Um, more PDFs. Um, how to write a thesis statement, and then you have a bunch of uh, sample book analysis so that you can take a look at how other students have approached this. So this is nothing to worry about today. Um, you'll be selecting your book in week five, and this book analysis is due toward the end of this semester. But just so you know, this is at the top. It's always right here, and you can click to close it, click to open it. Okay. So let's just take a look at week one and get you set up. I'm clicking to open it. I'm going to go first to week one instructions. Okay, where I see, okay, here's what we're supposed to do this week. Introduce ourselves to each other, respond to the discussion board, get the textbooks, familiarize yourself with good old Canvas, um, complete the assessment and the syllabus quiz, which are found in this module. Um, and this is your required reading. This is from Gotham Writers Workshop, pages one through 24. And also um, this handout, Risk and Writing. Okay, So you can go here and click Next. 
just to get to um, the first discussion board. Or if you want to, you can go all the way back to modules, and go back to week one and click here. Okay, so there's many ways to get there. So this is your introduction. Sorry about that, I had to um, open it up because the course isn't open yet. So here we have week one's discussion. Let's get to know each other. Um, I have given you some direction here. Um, if I don't hear from you by midnight, August 28th, I have to assume that you are a no-show and I'm required to drop you from the course. So here's some information about me. And then when you're ready to respond, this works just like any old discussion board. You click here where it says reply. You'll see this window open up. You can attach files. Um, you can change, you know, sizes, italics, text color, all that kind of good stuff. And when you're ready, you just post reply. Okay, and you are good to go. Discussion boards do have a grade value attached to them, so you want to make sure that you do them. And discussion boards are worth 20% of your total grade. So you can click here. Next, and this is not going to open up because I can't open up a link before the course begins, but this is going to be where you will submit your pre-assessment survey. So right now it says the assignment is locked, but you will see directions here and how to upload um, this survey. This is just um, a chance for me to see where you currently are in your understanding of creative writing and where we can go next. Um, and then the next thing you have to do is a syllabus quiz. This is also right now going to be locked. But you can see how you just click next and it says what's coming up next. Quiz is locked until Monday. You'll see it's due August 28th at 11.59 p.m. It has um, just five questions based on the syllabus, which you remember is right here. That was that PDF to download. So let's go back and take a look at the module. So we saw we got the uh, Let's Get to Know Each Other discussion board, the pre-assessment survey, and the syllabus quiz. You can always go back to the modules to get them there. Our instructions page is where all good things live. Anything you need to know about what's coming up and what needs to happen that week will live right here on this instructions page. So let's just take a look real quick at week two instructions. Okay, see we've got the same format. Required reading, discussion boards, um, information about the peer review component to the discussion boards that will be coming up. Okay. And then you have an exercise on characterization and a text response board. So things will start to come into play um, or to make more sense as you get into the course and kind of mess around. You can't mess anything up, so don't be afraid to hit buttons and play around, see what happens. Um, So, key things. This button, collapse, expand. Collapse, expand. Okay. You'll be able to see weeks ahead of time. Um, I've limited how far out you can see right now just to keep you from being too overwhelmed. The class um, weeks end on Fridays at midnight. The class has a no late work policy. Um, you will have generally discussion boards due each week. Um, and you can see on your syllabus what the other major assignments are. Um, you have three packets, exercise packets, which come from these discussion boards in your book analysis and a reflective essay toward the end of the semester. So um, we will be using both the books that were assigned, um, the Gotham Writers Workshop Writing Fiction, which is a yellow book with a light blue um, band around it, and the Poetry Home Repair Manual from Ted Kuser. Those are our texts. Uh, we'll be using poetry beginning in week eight. So we're going to be starting with fiction and moving into poetry. The book analysis module, available to you the entire semester. Oh, open, close, open, close, open. You will be selecting your book from this list here. Um, and more information on how this assignment is going to work will be available to you in the instructions pages of the weeks where it becomes relevant. All right, I hope that you have a fantastic semester. I'm really looking forward to getting to know you a little bit and to work with you. Um, don't hesitate to contact me um, over email if you are having some trouble 
Um, we're hoping Canvas does everything it's supposed to do, but you know, it's new. So we will do our very best to make everything right. Okay. Have a great rest of your day and um, welcome to Yapa Pie College.